Ensure that you're following proper body substance isolation requirements. At the minimum, gloves and eye protection should be used. Assemble the regulator and oxygen bottle, making sure that you have the correct gasket or o-ring and that it is properly seated. Slide the regulator over the neck of the oxygen bottle, ensuring that the pin setup is on the proper side. Use the thumb wheel on the back of the regulator to tighten it down. Turn the oxygen bottle on and ensure that there is enough pressure in the tank to deliver the oxygen that is required. Take the oxygen tubing on the non-rebreather mask and attach it to the regulator. Pre-fill the reservoir bag on the non-rebreather mask by placing a finger over the oxygen inlet hole and then opening the regulator. Adjust the regulator to 15 liters per minute. Apply the mask to the patient's face. In order to keep the mask in place, adjust the elastic straps and the nose bridge clamp if necessary. If the patient is unable to tolerate the non-rebreather mask, remove it. Choose a nasal cannula and attach it to the port on the regulator. Adjust the liter flow to 6 liters per minute or less. Apply the nasal cannula to the patient by inserting the prongs into the patient's nares, ensuring they are curved downward. Hook the cannula tubing over the patient's ears and then adjust the slide to secure it under the chin.